Hello everyone, this is Donna Rashford with Integration Inspiration and I have a short tutorial for you about Sketchpad. Sketchpad is an awesome app that you can use. You can also use it on a Chromebook or computer and it is free. You can use it to make digital art. So the first thing I want to show you are the different brushes. So you click on your uh, the pen or the calligraphy and you can choose what kind of tool you would like to work with. So you can work with the Spirograph tool and make cool spiral art. You can work with the spray paint tool and do kind of the spray paint effect. You can do a streamer. You can do the calligraphy. You can do a crayon, and you can change the size as well. Um, so oh, it's under line width, so you can make it small. And you can, there's all of these that are cool, sketchy. So we're gonna see what that is. Oh, I'm not really familiar with the sketchy but that's kind of cool you can draw lines and there's like these dots so you can pull out on different points and if you don't like something you click on this arrow right here click over it delete click over it press your backspace or your delete button anything that you don't like you can also click on text so if you want to add actual written text you can click on that T place it where you want and you can change the color of it the size you can bold it italic um, so this would be the color right here and you can pick the color you want and there you are so and then you can also uh -oh, you can also move it let me make sure I click on the select tool. Um, so I'm on the select tool and I can move it where I want it to go. Once I'm done with my art, let's say I, I love, I think this is a masterpiece. <laughs> oh, um, and then you can insert like little clip, clip arts. You can, you know, find things that you want. So maybe you want a giraffe. You can put your giraffe and you can also upload your own images that you have on your computer and get as complicated you want. And this is bucket fill. So if you want to fill the background, you can click on color and pick the color you like. Or maybe I like this one. And then there you go. So now I got a pink background. And uh, this is the shape. So you can put little shapes you want them and you can resize it and it kind of tells you what to do but just click on the arrow when you want to kind of move things around so I said didn't really care for that any of these little weird markings and maybe I just wanted my giraffe and my hello and I get rid of all of those and next I'm gonna click on this export button to save my picture and I suggest say, downloading it as a JPEG or a PNG for it to be just a picture. Um, if you want to, or you can download it as a PDF. I wouldn't recommend downloading in the other formats, um, just JPEG or PNG. And then it downloads onto your computer and you're done. So that's a fun artistic app that you can use to play around with and make any kind of picture you want on a computer. Hope you enjoy and feel free to share any things you design in the comments and make sure you like and subscribe. Bye.